From mobile radars to armored cars, take a look at these storm-chasing monsters. Number 10, the National Severe Storms Laboratory. The NSSL is a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Weather Research Laboratory under the Office of Oceanic and Atmospheric Research. It is one of seven research laboratories. The NSSL studies weather radar, tornadoes, flash floods, lightning, damaging winds, hail, and weather in an effort to improve warnings and forecasts and to save lives and reduce property damage. Researchers at NSSL developed one of the first Doppler weather radar and have contributed to the development of NEXRAD, WSR-88D. The group conducts various research experiments using mobile radar systems and continues to make advances in the field of meteorology. Number 9. Tornado Hunters Ford F-150 aka Flash Flash is one amazing truck. It has 750 pounds of Linux protective coating, 18 onboard cameras to capture every minute of action, an exoskeleton frame coming from the hood of the truck to the bed to help protect the vehicle from rollovers. But it doesn't stop there. It also has a lift with off-road tires and a ton of lights to help keep the road lit when it gets dark. This beast has seen 29 different states with a total of 223,000 miles the journey has led them to intercepted 51 different tornadoes and has destroyed 11 windshields in the process. I guess Ford has it right when it comes to this truck, built tough. Number 8. Sirens Project Drones These drones were designed by a group of mechanical engineering students that will fly them into the middle of tornadoes with the hope of learning more about how a tornado and these destructive storms work. Warren Cossey, the founder of the Sirens Project, said this better understanding could lead to increased warning times for incoming tornadoes. These drones will have a sensor package with a near bulletproof plexiglass encasement that will allow the sensors to measure barometric pressure, temperature, g-forces, and relative humidity. The main body of the drone looks like a miniature B-2 stealth bomber, with a body made of foam aviation fiberglass. The group is looking for patterns in supercell thunderstorms to differentiate which ones will produce tornadoes and which ones won't. Knowing the specific mix of conditions that can trigger a tornado will also allow forecasters to cut down on false warnings. Number 7. Hailproof Vehicle The hailproof vehicle designed and built by Mike Ratcliffe has an exoskeleton with six steel mesh windows that are controlled by linear actuators so they can be lowered into place whenever there are large hailstones coming down and potentially any rollover accidents that might happen with this vehicle is in the middle of the action. The whole truck is also covered in a thick coat of bullet liner, which is a protective coating used in truck beds. The liner and mesh windows also help protect him from debris thrown at the car by a tornado. Hey, if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, this will double as a great ride for that too. It's a win-win. Number 6. Doppler on Wheels As of 2017, there is three operational Doppler on Wheels of a total of eight constructed since 1995. All three are dual polarization, dual frequency, quick scanning Doppler weather radars. Several instrumental mobile pickup trucks host in weather instrumentation on 11 foot masts to complete their remote sensing radars. These mobile radars also carry approximately 20 instrumented pods, which are quickly deployable weather stations designed to survive tornadoes, tropical cyclones, and other adverse environments. The DOW fleet is sometimes accompanied by a mobile operations and repair center, a large van containing workstations for in-field coordination, data management, and equipment repair. Number 5. The Titus Surprisingly, this beast has yet to see a real tornado, even though it looks like it has been put through the ringer. It was actually built and created by, believe it or not, Warner Brothers Studio, who collaborated with Detroit Custom Creations. The Titus was based on a modified Dodge pickup chassis 
and is equipped with bulletproof lex and windows, a 4mm solid steel armor plating, and a 12-ton winch which anchors this vehicle from updrafts and vortexes. Movie prop or not, I know this vehicle will help inspire more people to build their own creations like this. Number 4. Dorothy The Iowa Storm Chasing Network has unveiled this 5-ton monster of an armored van that looks like a ship straight out of a sci-fi movie. It was built off a Ford E350 van, which now looks like a zombie killing machine. It was designed to be heavy and low to help not let any wind underneath the vehicle, but don't let that fool you. This van can hold its own, having a 6.8 liter V10. It also has a double wall construction of 14 and 16 gauge steel plus 3 quarter inch polycarbonate windows. Unfortunately, the storm chasing team says the van won't be able to drive straight into a twister, as its appearance might suggest, but it will allow meteorologists and other weather analysts to get much closer to extremely hostile weather than they would in normal everyday cars. Number 3. Tornado Attack Vehicle aka TA-1 This monster was originally built by Jeep to race at Baja, California, but at the end of the day, this vehicle last stop wasn't the starting line. After 5 years and over half a million dollars worth of work and parts, it now sports a 700 horsepower V8 engine, 16 gauge steel panels coated with impact resistant polyurethane, and a hydraulic system that allows it to drop to the road in order to not be thrown around when parked in high winds. Its windows and wheel wells are covered with bulletproof Lexan. The TA-1 was designed to primarily gather data on tornadoes, and therefore also includes two data loggers and other weather instruments. Number 2. The SRV Dominator there have been three different Dominators since the first one was constructed in 2007, all constructed of the same design, just getting better and better after each one was commissioned. We will be focusing on their latest model, the Dominator 3, which uses a chassis of a Ford Super Duty pickup truck, which is the first Dominator not to use a general motor vehicle as their base. The vehicle features an electric winch, hydraulic anchoring spikes, and touch-activated go-wing doors. It utilizes a V8 turbocharged diesel engine to keep this beast rolling down the highway. Reinforced steel plating with an additional Linex coating for additional protection, and don't forget the bulletproof Lenax windows. The Dominator 3 first saw action during their tornado outbreak of May 18 through 21, 2013 making three separate intercepts on an F4 tornado near Shawnee, Oklahoma. Number 1. TIV-2 Tornado Intercept Vehicle It is based on a Dodge Ram 3500 that was strengthened and converted to six-wheel drive by adding a third axle. It is powered by a 6.7-liter Cummins turbocharged diesel engine modified with propane and water injection to produce 625 horsepower. This gives TIV-2 an estimated top speed of over 100 miles per hour. Its fuel capacity is 95 gallons, giving it a range of 750 miles. The body is constructed of a 1 8 inch steel thick skin welded over a 2 inch square tubing steel frame. The windows in TIV-2 are all bullet-resistant 1.63-inch interlayered polycarbonate sheets and tempered glass. TIV-2 also features an IMAX filming turret to capture every little detail of the action. It also has six hydraulic skirts that drop down to deflect wind over it to stabilize it and protect the underside from debris, and four hydraulically operated anchoring spikes. Hey guys, this is Amber. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. You can help out by hitting the like button and also sharing with your friends. Have you hit that subscribe button yet? If not, make sure you do so. And while you are there, go ahead and hit the bell notification so you can be the first to see all of the latest videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.